Hola to our Chechi friends in Spain and hello to everyone. This is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I am Scrappy and this is World Web Scrapping. There we go! Hello and welcome to World Web Scrapping. This is our next tutorial in web scrapping using Python. Today we will talk about APIs with uh, having a basic introduction with APIs. What APIs are and how APIs work. We will be working with uh, Twitter API and some of Google API. So let's go. Uh, introduction to API. What is an API? It stands for an application programming interface. So API is like a UI. User interfaces like when we use any mobile app or any web app or something. So uh, the developer designs a user interface through which we interact with the, with the app and we get the task done. So the user interface is designed to suit the humans and it is designed that humans can easily navigate and it is designed in a way that it looks pleasing to the human mind and it makes using that app or that website enjoyable. So that similar thing API does a similar thing uh, but uh, API is for application programming interface. So it is how an app or application or interact with the another application or say one application interact with the browser or with the web server. So that's what an API is basically. So the thing is uh, like uh, we have a UI user interface that is designed to make the, the act of conjunction as easy and enjoyable as possible for humans. But uh, what if the same data or functionality could be just as easily consumed by another piece of software in this case the UI concerns are very different because we are talking about you know uh, how an app or a system or computer interact with another computer or server so software does not have eyes or emotions or intuition so it does not need an enjoyable or intuitive graphical user interface however much the same way a ui is the trailer to humans software needs an alternative interface that makes it easy to consume data and functionality so the computer can use an api to either to your like consume some data from some other applications and web servers for the same application and so it could use some functionality of another day, another website or another app. So that's what computer needs in an API does not need a UI. So every app that we use, every application, every web app that we use that uses API internally to do the task that we ask the API to do. So let's say if you are logging into Twitter or Facebook and so the server sends a request to the server and it performs that action so it uses API to do behind the scenes. So uh, let's move uh, next to some just not employ internal API. The software engineer is used to build futures for their consumers so like API is not just for one app to do its internal work. Some service provides create API for the use of uh, use another app also. If you see like uh, Uber shows Google Maps and if you go to any other websites like uh, ABMB or OYO, they also show you Google Map of the location with a pin on that. So what they are doing essentially using Google API to use their functionality of Google Map into their application. So that's what an example of an API as services. There are many services provider like Twitter. If you say you write a blog or something and if you have put your Twitter handle or LinkedIn handle or Facebook profile from that blog. So what the blog doing is using Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn APIs to show that tag and somebody clicks on that it takes them to that Twitter or that specific application that's also a form of an API. Now coming to how API works. So API is a set of rules that define how computer application or machines can talk to each other. So let's take an example. API is like a middleman. API is a set of codes 
that are developed by a developer it is like uh, you have an user interface on an app and you want to do something with that app then you give some input to the app and uh, the app use api and connect with the with the server you get the work done so that's how an api works so let's take an example like uh, you are in a restaurant and imagine there is a, a waiter and you are sitting on the table with a menu of choices to order from and uh, the kitchen is a provider to fulfill your order so in this case kitchen is the server from where order will come now you need a link to communicate your order to the kitchen and to deliver your food to your table it can be done by chef she is cooking in the kitchen and you need something to connect customer who who is ordering the food and chef who prepares it so that where the waiter comes in the picture so this waiter is an api so waiter takes your order delivers it into the kitchen then telling the kitchen what to do and then delivers the response in this case food back to you so this is what an api is api in case is waiter the middleman that you use to do your task so you are using an app to give input and that app uses some internal api to connect with the server and do your task that how simple that it is so in the hidden programming that happened behind the scene that humans are not concerned about and that's what the application does themselves that is api let us take a real example uh, say you are booking a flight when you search for flights online you have a menu of option to choose from we choose departure city date and return city and date cabin class other variable like your meal your seat or your baggage request to booking your flight you need to interact with the airlines website to access the airlines database to see any seats are available on those jets but the cost might base on date flight time route so you check all of those things you need to access that information from airlines database whatever you are interacting from website or online travel service that aggregates information from multiple airlines maybe you are using some app like uh, goibibo or make my trip or something like uh, that alternatively you might be accessing the information for mobile phones you can be using a web app or using a website like uh, make my trip or using the mobile app of uh, that aggregator in this case you need to get the information and so the application must interact with uh, the airlines api which you need the information from the airline in the end so your app or whatever site or whatever service you are needed you are using that need to interact with the airlines data right so it needs to interact with the airlines api for that airline api will give the airline data to that app the api is a uh, interface like uh, our waiter runs and delivers the data from the application you are using to the airline system over the internet it also takes a uh, like airlines response to your request and delivers right back to the travel application you are using so it will check with the airline and it will connect with the airline data it will check all the information like seats are available on those dates or whatever information you have asked for then it will return that response to the app or website that you are using and also if the seats are available on that particular day and those particular flights then it is also lets you select the seats and meals and so because that will be again provided by the airline and not by the aggregator so that where also the api does so api does the same for all interaction between application data and devices they allow the transmission of data from the system to system creating connectivity api provides a standard way of access 
accessing any application data or device, whatever it's accessing cloud application or you know like accessing some shopping sites. So they are standard interface and they are same information says if you are booking a flight through Make My Trip or if and uh, the other person is booking it through Goibibo, but you both are looking at the same airline, so the API will be standard for both of those things like it is there won't be a separate API for Goibibo, there won't separate API for making my trip, there will be a standard API and that will give information to the concerned aggregator or web app or application, whatever application you are using. So it's another analogy that could be like an electrical circuit. So you can put in the electrical circuits designed in such a way that you can put any appliance into that. You don't need a separate socket for your mobile, separate socket for your TV, separate socket for your laptop or PC, or separate socket for your freezer or microwave you don't need separate socket design for that. You can just put any device into any of the sockets. So that's what API does. You don't need separate API to interact with a separate app if they need to extract the same kind of the information. So API is standardized in that way. So that's how API works. They send the request to the server and they perform the task that you have asked for or either they extract the data that you have asked for. Now API are not only to extract the data in our case. We will be using it to extract the data only so we won't be creating any API. We will be using the API provided by Google or Twitter to extract data from their website. We won't be used it for any application purpose, but the APIs can be used for application purpose like how Google Maps APIs are used in Uber or Ola or these kinds of services, so that can be done. There are these kinds of APIs that can be used to connect with those applications and they can provide the functionality of those applications in another app. So that can be done. But in our case, our objective is to extract data only. So we won't be creating any API. We'll just be using the API of Google and Twitter to extract data. To extract data, if we have is, uh, any website offers the API, then it becomes really easy to extract data from that website because those APIs are custom made for that purpose only. And you don't have to create separate crawlers to extract that data. So there are four types of web APIs and then there are web service API is also but APIs are not just limited to web APIs is a web service APIs is there can be API for any device. It is just not limited to the web. It is just not limited to the internet for any device to interact with any other device. There can be an API. So the main types of API, there are open APIs. Open APIs are open to the general public and they are publicly available. Partner API thinks in an API that is service provided developed for another app or another company or something. So that is uh, specifically for the design for the need and how they can extract data from other databases or something internal APIs are private APIs. They are designed for the internal purpose of the company. How you know, like inside a company or an app, the data and the information will flow. So therefore that the APIs used are called internal APIs. Composite API in this type of APIs combine different data and service API. It is a sequence of tasks that run synchronously as a result of the execution and at the request of a task. So composite APIs combined a different kind of APIs to achieve a complex task. So for that purpose of the composite APIs are used. Anyway, we are not bothered about this because it is not our target here. We are only extracting data. So there are some web services API. So there is uh, SOAP. 
XML RPAC, JSON RPC, REST and uh, REST APIs. You you might have heard it, and it is the most useful web service API actually. And uh, so web service APIs are generally used on a web service system or software that uses an address. To interact with those services, a web service API is used. So, guys, that's all about API for the introduction. And when we move forward with our course, we will see how we can create our own Twitter API or Google API for that matter, and how we can interact with those APIs to extract some data. So that's all for today, my Tetchy friends. If you like the video, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website. Leave your comments below and ask me any question you have. I will be very happy to answer them. Link is given in the description of this video to get code and full material. Stay happy, stay safe, stay Tetchy.